Hey yo, what up people? This is your boy Jay Sanjay Cakes and today we are back with another video. And for today's video guys, I have for you one of the most anticipated releases of the year on these Jordan 3's Ama Manier. This will be a new call away for these very very good collab that Ama Manier has been doing with Jordan Brand. We all know that the Jordan 3 was the best one, like undefeated, but now we have a new callaway. And actually this year we're gonna have two new callaways, but this is the first one and it's the Black Pairs. We already know by the thumbnail and the title of the video. By the time of recording this video, sadly, I have no extra information of this one, but we're going to see how nice this shoe looks. Even the box, like look how it opens. It's really cool, really nice. We have the I'm on your logo right here on the top of the box, looking really good. When we open it, we're going to get um, these right here. Probably, I don't know what is this, to clean it or I don't know, maybe just to give the shoe a really premium touch, let's say. But the shoes, guys, look super damn nice. In person, looks even better. It might sound like a cliche, but for real, this one looks even nicer in person. So this is the shoe, guys, that I'm going to review for you today. And um, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you about the quality, some aspect of the shoe that you probably want to know about. But before we go into all that, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you're liking the content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video, which is every single day, guys. So, so go follow me on my Instagram, and on TikTok as Jason J Kicks. And now, let's begin this video. Ama Manier tried to do something different this time with this Jordan 3 collab, not only by changing the colorway of the shoe, but also replacing the traditional bugs that they were using for the um, Ama Manier collabs. This is the box that we're going to get this year. And uh, I don't have the Jordan 3s anymore because I'm gonna tell you about that in a, in a moment. But I still have my Jordan 4 and this is technically the box that they were using with these um, plastic thing covering the box. I'm not a big fan of these, I, I, I have to say it. But this is the traditional box that they were using and this is the new one that we're going to get at least for this one. So I don't know which one is going to be the box for the white pair because like I told you, there will be another pair of Ama Manier 3s releasing this year. And also another pair of the um, Jordan 4, which is gonna be technically this same one right here. Just a um, different color, slightly different color from what I could see in the pictures. But let's go with this one. I'm gonna get into the Jordan 4's Ama Manier in a little moment to talk to you a little bit about something, but these guys, man, these shoes right here, these are so freaking nice. These shoes have these Jordan 3 Black Cement vibe because it's technically the same color blocking that they use for this one. They just replace some colors here and there, but it's technically the same shoe. Also, as you can see, they replace um, the elephant print on the shoe. We have this fairy suede, as you can see right there, on the back of the shoe and also on the front. And looks pretty nice and feels really good to the touch, man. The premium feeling of this shoe is absolutely magnificent. I'm in love with this one, guys. I am in love. And if you know me, you know that it's not because it's a collab. You know, I, 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 the hype don't drive me. That's why I don't have the, the white pair anymore. But again, I'm gonna go into that in a little moment. So the, the reason why I like this shoe so much is because I like the premium feeling that the shoe have. Also, I appreciate a lot the way the shoe looks. I think the colorway really works and the replacement of the materials like the elephant print, as much as I like the elephant print, I think this looks super good. This is something that you probably won't like or will love, who knows, but in my opinion, that's something that I like, I like it. Also, the, this type of a um, violet or purple right here that he used for the tongue, also right here on the eyelids and on the ankle area of the shoe. I think it's a really nice colorway. The shoe looks really elegant, like the colorway of the shoe is really, really good. I'm telling you, I'm liking this shoe a lot, a lot more than I was expecting because the pictures 
the pictures don't do justice to the issue man like for real for real in person they look a lot better i hope i can double up on this one man uh, this this is you know i'm a big fan of jordan threes and this is a really good one but if i don't double up it's cool um, anyways we're going to get the uh, jordan threes on um, black cement releasing later this year and that's that's probably going to be my sneaker of the year but this will definitely be in my top 10 list well not definitely we gotta see because there's a lot of fire coming this year but this is definitely a top 10 sneaker of the year contender but really good shoe man also on this one just like we have right here on the jordan 4 we have the quality right here and we also going to get it on these pair of jordan 3s a really um luxury um detail on these shoes something that man makes the shoe look a lot better what can we do about that like you can see right here the shoe looks very very dope with these details also now that we have the jordan 4 right here on the table um the this shade of purple that they use for the shoe it's a little similar to the one that he used for the Jordan 4 Ama Manier, just that this purple right here seems to be a little lighter than the one we have on this one. But I'm sure they try to replicate this shade of purple. They just for some reason didn't get it. Like, but it's okay, it's okay. That it's not a it's not a big difference. And actually, the shoe still looks super dope. I actually like this shade of purple a little better than this one because I would love to have a darker shade of purple on this one, this violet or whatever color, this shoe, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. By the way, by the way, by the way, now that we're here, before I go back into the review of this shoe, tell me which of these two is your favorite. These Jordan 3s or these Jordan 4s from Ama Manier? Let me know that in the comment section, guys. But now, yeah. let's go back to the start of the video because the spotlight belongs to these um, Jordan 3s from Ama Manier. The problem with uh, the problem of doing these early reviews is that at this time I don't have the storytelling behind the shoe. I don't have that much um, inside details straight from my mom and here because we all, the only thing we know is that this is the shoe and that's it. So um, the only thing I can talk right now is the way the shoe look, the way the shoe feels, how the material on the shoe. But the story behind it, we still don't know it. But as soon as the information come out, come back to the channel because your boy is going to give you another video on this one. Well, we're going to have more than one video because I still got to do the proper um, full on fit look outside, sunlight and everything. And probably a lace swap on this one too because this shoe actually includes two extra pair of laces, which are these purple laces and these sail laces that I think are gonna match these shoes perfectly. So stay tuned for those videos, guys. You know, your boy always deliver. And yeah, you know that I love creating content for you guys. So the shoes, the shoes, the shoes. What do we have right here on this shoe? Well, on this shoe, like on this side of the shoe, we're going to have the A from Ama Manier. And on this side, we're going to have the Jumpman logo. And I thought we were going to get like, um, Nike Air on one side and the Ama Manier on the other, but no, it's just Nike Air for both of the shoes and that's pretty good. Like, that's it. That's all we need. Also, we're going to have the hang tag right here with the Ama Manier colors because at this point, these are the Ama Manier colors. Also, this carbon tag right here with Ama Manier and some information, I guess. And the same logo that we have on the box right there, on the top of the box, we're going to get it on the other side of the shoe. And also, on the insole of the shoe, we have, let me show you, hold on, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. We have a bunch of A's, that's it. We don't have the tag that we used to have. Like, again, let me show you the Jordan 4 like this um, tag that we have on the insole of this one and the insole of this one is not quilted like the one we have on this one just another detail that you probably want to know but what we do have is a message right here that we only can see when we remove the insole of the shoe that says while you were sleeping where did that go about i don't know i don't know because like i told you at this point, um, we don't have the full history behind the shoe, the full inspiration of this colorway. We don't have it. We don't have it. But all I can say is that the shoe looks really, really good. From what I can see on this one, I, I told you I had the, the other pair, the, the white pair. 
they they change some things like it's not just a different colorway on this one we're going to have perforations right here uh, where we have the eyelets in this violet color and this is the same material that we have right here on the tongue of the shoe this is like a tumble um, suede or something like that feels good to the touch like the premium feel under the shoe you're going to get it everywhere also on the back of the tongue we're going to get a bunch of A's, just like we have on the insole of the shoe. You know, that's the Ama Manier logo. James Whitner, you're really killing it with this collaboration, for real. Keep it coming, keep it coming. If it's going to be with this amazing quality, guys. The eyelets of the shoe right here also have the violet color as well. And like I just told you, they replaced the elephant print for these um hairy suede that i'm a big fan of i really think they look really good on this one all the laces included with the shoe comes with um lettering right here on the tips of the eyelids this one just like on the other one says um right here says work and right here says hotter you already know that also we have messages right here this one says do something about it right here on the back of the heel tap and the other one says um the same thing but I think this is a really amazing shoe, guys. Is this better than the first one? Well, that's gonna depend on which colorway you like the most or which one you're going to need because that's why I'm going to keep this in the collection, but I don't have the white pair anymore because I sold my pair when we had the release of the Jordan 3 Scrap Ivory. Just because I really think that this is a nicer shoe, I like this one more than I like the Ama Manier. And I was not wearing the Ama Manier that much for some reason, I don't know why, but when I saw this shoe coming out, I was like, damn, these are so freaking nice. And I like them more than the Ama Maniers and they have some similarities. And then this guy came to me and told me that he wanted to do a trade since I was saying some things about the Ama Manier. And he said that he could give me two pairs of these right here for my Ama Maniers. And I was like, done deal. Let's do it. That's why now I have three pairs of this one. This one that I'm rocking every week. This is on my weekly rotation. And I have two other pairs on ice. I totally love this shoe. If you saw my top 10 list of the year so far, you know how much I like these shoes right here. Yes, I like this one more than the Ama Manier 3, the first pair. But since this one have a different colorway, I'm gonna keep this one in the collection. The premium feeling of it is pretty nice. Long term, I don't know, probably I changed my mind like I did with the first pair. If I can get the first pair back like for a good deal in the future, I probably do it just for collecting purposes. But this one is really good. I want to see the other one coming this year. That, that, that one looks dope. That one looks so freaking fire. I want those, I want those. But these guys, these shoes don't look bad and on feet they look really damn freaking good. I love the way these babies look on feet for real. I'm telling you, these are so elegant. Th these are the type of shoes that you can take everywhere. Like you can go with this one everywhere, anywhere. These shoes look good, like for real, really, really damn good. Nike and Emma Manier really delivers a really nice pair of shoes that I'm totally in love with. The colorway, the aspect, the, the details, the quality of the shoe, the premium feeling that you have, it's something that you only can appreciate while you have the shoes in person. I think this one are a hell of a shoe. I'm happy to have these, and I just wanted to show you these shoes right now, guys, to know your honest opinion about this one. Do you think these are gonna be in your top 10 list? Probably for some people, this will be top five, or probably sneaker of the year. Who knows? This is a really good pair of shoes right here, man. And it's a Jordan 3, one of the best silhouette uh, um, Nike savior, I can say, because you already know the history behind the Jordan 3s. If not, let me tell you right now, Jordan was ready to leave Nike after Jordan 2s, but then Tinkett Halfield came to the rescue with the Jordan 3s and the rest is history. But pretty amazing shoe right here from Mama Manier. Again, James Whitner, really good shoe. Congratulations on this one. I think you really killed it. Really nice, really nice. Everything about the shoe is just perfect, guys. I love it, I love it. That's all I'm gonna say, I love it. But now, it's time for you to go to the comment section and let me know how you feel about the Ama Manier Jordan 3s, the black pair. I don't know which is the official name of this one at this moment, but 
guys again as soon as i get all the information about this one another video will drop talking about all that story the inspiration and all that so stay tuned and make sure to be subscribed guys also leave a huge like for your boy if you appreciate the job that i'm putting through to give you all these sneaker content if you love sneaker content this is the best channel for you guys because right here you're going to get reviews on feed lace swap real versus fake all kind of sneaker content you're going to get it on these channels so make sure to be subscribed guys and if you want to know more about me and my content outside of youtube make sure to follow me right here on my instagram is jason j Kicks. i'm always uploading videos picture sneaker information like shock drop early access all the upcoming releases you're going to get it right here on my instagram jason j Kicks. thank you again for watching guys and until the next one these are dope for real man Goodbye.